Hi there and welcome back to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style Crochet. My name is Jane and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the matching beanie hat that goes with the granny stitch cowl that I've made in a recent video and also the granny stitch wrist warmers and I've managed to finish off the pattern and here is a tutorial on how to make this cute little beanie hat very simple and if you want to crochet along with me all you need is some double knit yarn I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook and a 4 millimeter hook absolutely ideal too for using up all your yarn perfect if you're new here welcome and um, please don't forget to subscribe then you'll be kept up to date with all the videos that I do bring out so let's make a beanie hat <laughs> The granny stitch beanie style hat I'm going to be continuing on with the colors that I used for for the granny stitch wrist warmers and also for the the cowl so it makes a complete set so the colors I used were the drop sleamer in the antique white the gray and the pink also going to be needing some needles to sew in your ends I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook and we're going to be needing some scissors too. So I'm going to start off with the grey but obviously you, you can use any colour combinations that you like but I'm going to start off with the grey and I'm just going to make a slip knot. So I've made our slip knot and I'm just going to chain four so yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through yarn over pull through so we've got four chains now I am doing this tutorial in UK so if you're watching from the US you need to be aware of the difference in the stitches so when I mention treble it will be double crochet for you in the US and I'm now just going to insert my hook and go down into that very first chain and yarn over and we're just going to slip stitch to form our ring we just have a tiny little ring there and we're going to insert our hook into that ring there in the center so we're just going to chain three one two and three and that's going to count as our first treble and then we're going to work two more trebles so down into the center there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and again So we have three trebles in total. We're going to chain one and then we're going to work down into the ring again and do three more trebles. So one, two, and three. Chain one and work down again and do three more trebles. One, two, and three. Chain one, and we repeat this. So we've got a total of six chain spaces. So just work your three trebles, followed by a chain one until you've got six spaces. So I've got one, two, three. So I'll just keep going. Just have to, may have to move your work around. And I've got one more to do, so chain one and work three trebles into that ring there. One, two, and three. And we're just going to finish by chain one. And we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three that we did at the beginning, but we're going to change colour here. 
So I'm just going to take the cream and I'm just going to insert my hook into the third chain from the top and then slip stitch to so bring my second colour in and slip stitch it through. And I'm just going to tighten that with that colour there. Like so. I'm going to carry up my colours as I'm working along the hat. So I'm not going to cut the colours off, I'm just going to carry them up at the back. So now we're working on to our second colour and we're going on to round two. And I'm going to be working back down into that chain space we've made there. So I'm going to chain three and I'm going to go down into there and I'm going to work two trebles. One and two, like so. I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to work back down to that space and do three more trebles. So one. two and three and chain one and we're going to go down into the next chain space and work three trebles, chain one, three trebles chain one, three more trebles so one two and three, chain one and then into the next chain space there we're going to do the same again so three trebles, chain one, three trebles so one, two, three chain one and down again three more, one, two three, chain one, down into the next space, we're just going to work all the way around working into those chain spaces with three treble, chain one, three treble And we're back round to where we started, so we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three, but I'm going to change my colour here again. So I'm just going to bring in the pink and insert my hook into that third chain. So one, two, three, insert your hook to the top of that third chain, bring in that your third colour and slip stitch. And I'm just going to secure it to the previous colour. Just a little knot. And we're now on to the third colour. And we're ready to move on to the next round. So we should have 12 chain spaces in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to work down into that space again. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to go back down into that space and work two trebles. One. And two. And then we're going to work into the next chain space. So we're going to chain one. Insert your hook into that next space and work three trebles. chain one and into the next and we're just going to do this all the way around for round three chain one down into the next and three trebles so if you want to continue around all the way working three trebles into every chain space with a chain one in between and I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll go on to the next round so I've got to the end, I've so just got it chain one and I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three but I'm going to go back to the grey colour 
so I'll just bring my grey yarn up so I'm just going to bring my yarn up from the back insert my hook into that third chain and slip stitch closed just tighten that pink up and we're ready to go on to the next round right so for round four we're just going to chain three and that acts as our first treble and we're going to go down into that space and work two more trebles one two and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to work into the next space and work three trebles chain one three trebles chain one and three trebles into that same space and then we're going to chain one and then into the next space just work three trebles so we're increasing in every other space so this one we're just working three trebles in the next we're going to do we're going to work three trebles chain one three trebles so into this one three trebles chain one three trebles and then chain one and then just three trebles in the next chain one and then three trebles chain one three trebles in the next so I just repeat that all the way around working three trebles into one chain space then three trebles chain one three trebles into the next followed by a chain then three trebles into the next, chain, three trebles, chain one, three trebles into the next and I shall see you somewhere around about here. So round five we're going to chain three, one, two, three and then we're going to go down into that same space and work two more trebles. Chain one and then we're going to go down into the next space and work three trebles and we're just going to repeat this all the way around around five so three trebles chain one three trebles down into the next space so if you just follow me three trebles chain one three trebles into every space like so all the way around and I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll go on to round six so I've worked all the way around I've done my three trebles, I've just got to chain one and slip stitch to the top of my chain three. So I'm going to bring up my next colour which is going to be the pink. So I'm just going to slip stitch with the pink. So I'm just going to bring that up. I'm set my hook into the third chain. One, two, three. And bring the pink yarn up from behind and just slip stitch there we go and we're ready to go on to round six and round six we're going to chain three one two three and we're just going to go down into that same space again working two trebles so one two chain one chain one and we're going to go back down into that same space with three more trebles so one two three chain one and we're going to work th three trebles into the next chain one and then we're going to work three trebles into the next in fact we're going to work three trebles into the following five chain spaces after this cluster 
So what we're doing is we've made our three trebles, chain one, three treble into the first space and then we're going to do three trebles, chain one, three trebles, chain one for a total of five times. Oh, chain one. And again. Chain one, and we've done four, so we just need to do one more time. So, three trebles. And chain one. And then into the next, we're going to do three trebles, chain one, three trebles. So, insert your hook, insert and work three trebles. Chain one three trebles into that same space chain one and then we're going to work three trebles into the next five chain spaces so just three trebles followed by a chain one chain one and then three trebles so continue to do that so you've done this five times again chain one and then into the next one we're going to do three trebles, chain one, three trebles chain one, three more trebles chain one and then we're now left with five spaces, one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to continue working three trebles into the next five spaces. So three trebles, chain one, and three trebles. So if you want to continue to the end now, work in your three trebles, chain one, three trebles. I shall see you somewhere here. So here we are. At the end of this round so I've just got to slip stitch to the top of that chain three and I'm obviously going to change colour again so I'll insert my hook to the top of that chain three and bring up the grey and just slip stitch with the grey now ready to go on to round seven so we're just going to chain three insert your hook into that space that's below and work two trebles one and two chain one and then we're going to go into the next space and work three trebles and we're just going to do this all the way around for round seven so three trebles in every space followed by a chain one so if you want to continue on all the way around for round seven like that and I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll go on to the next round Right, so I've come to the end of this round, so I'm just going to chain one and then slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And I'm just going to bring up the next colour, which is going to be the antique white, like so. And that is round seven completed. Now, from here on now, we're not going to do any more increases. So this is basically going to be the crown of our hat. And I'll just show you what the measurement is, roughly 7 inches, and that should fit an average size adult head 7 inch crown. So we're going to move now on to the rest of the hat, and there is no more increases, so we're just going to work all the way around now with our granny stitch into every chain space, and we're just going to change our colours in every round as we have done before, slip stitching to the top of the chain three and then just working our three trebles in every chain space around and we're going to continue on now till the hat measures approximately eight inches and eight inches would be if we fold it over and it would be eight inches from there like so and if you need to pause the video and rewind if you need to refresh it up on this last round, round seven, 
that's because you're just going to repeat that over and over again and I shall see you somewhere towards the end when your hat is measuring roughly about eight inches. Right, so I've just completed my last round and I've worked 18 rounds in total from the first round we did right up to this last round here. I've done 18 rounds and I've worked my three colours five times. That's worked out really nice and just quickly measure just to show you and it comes to eight inches from top to bottom. So now we're going to go on to doing um, some ribbon. Now I was using a 4.5 millimeter hook for the main part of the beanie hat and I'm going to now move down to a size 4 millimeter hook just so that the ribbon has a little bit more tightness to it because I don't want it too loose around the edge. And I'm just going to pick up my final colour which is a colour we started with which is the grey. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of my chain 3 and pick up the grey. And now I've finished all the other colours so I'm going to fasten them off now. So I'm just going to so I'm just going to trim the pink and I'm just going to trim the cream, the off-white colour and I'm just going to tie that pink to the grey there and that secures that and I'll obviously I will sew in the ends when we've completed it. And before we work on the ribbon we need to work a row of double crochets all the way around so I'm just going to start off with a chain one which doesn't count as a stitch and I'm going to go down into that space and work a double crochet and I'm just going to pick up a double crochet in every treble we did so just double crochet into the top of every treble and then double crochet into that chain space insert your hook into the top of each of those trebles and then again into the chain space working your way all the way around with double crochets so if you want to do the same as me pick up a double crochet in every treble and then again a double crochet in the chain space and I shall see you somewhere towards the end and then we'll go on to our ribbon and I've just got one more to go and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet and you should have 84 double crochets now and now we're going to work on to the ribbon first row we're going to chain three and that counts as our first treble and we're going to go down into the next and work a treble and we're going to work a treble all the way along in every stitch so you should have 84 trebles in total so if you just want to continue all the way around this first row of our ribbing with a treble into every stitch like so and I shall see you somewhere round about here and we'll go on to the next round of our ribbing so I've just got a couple more of trebles to finish off this round there we go and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three and that's done our first our first round there so we're now going to go on to the next round so we're going to chain one that doesn't count as a stitch and I'm going to insert my hook behind this chain three of the row below like so and that's going to be a front post treble so we're going to yarn over insert our hook from behind bring the hook out yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through like so the next one we're going to do a back post treble so we're going to come from the back and over that next treble yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through like so the next one is going to be front post so insert your hook from the front yarn over pull through and then just work your treble as normal the next one's going to be back post so you're going to go back 
behind with your hook picking up that very next treble and you put your hook over that treble and bring it out the back yarn over and pull through and then complete your treble as normal and we're just going to repeat that all the way along so we're working a front post treble and then a back post treble front post treble and then back post treble I'm just going to continue like that all the way around picking up a front post then a back front back all the way along and I shall see you somewhere around about here and I'll show you how to join this round and then we'll go on to the next round so I've just got one more to finish off of this round and because I started with a front post treble I should end with a back post treble so I just need to finish off with my back post treble like so Go. and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that treble not the chain one we did because that didn't count as a stitch just the top of that treble that we did at the beginning that front post treble and a slip stitch and there you see you're getting the beginning of your ribbon effect and all we're going to do for the next round is exactly the same chain one which doesn't count as a stitch we're going to go work a front post when we've got a front post and where we see the back post we're going to do a back post so we're just going to yarn over front post underneath there like so and then the next one is going to be a back post so you just insert your hook and it does get easier now as you go along because you can see the front posts pop out at the front and the back posts are pushed back so you can see where you're going to put your hook and you just work all the way along working front post treble on a front post treble and then a back post treble with the back post treble so front and then back front and then back and just continue on all the way like that right the way to the end and you should always finish on a back post treble and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first treble that we did the first front post treble and we're going to continue going around like this working your front post into your front post your back into your back and slip stitch to the top there and that would complete round two so we're going to repeat that round until we've got a total of five rows in total including our treble row that we did at the beginning so we've got our treble row then we've got our front post row and our next front post row which we're working on now and then we need to do another two more so we've got five rows in total so if you want to continue on and I shall see you when you get to the end of that fifth row so I'm just coming to the end of this row my final row so I've just got a few more to do my last back post treble there I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of my first one and in total we've done one row of treble and then one two three four rows of front post and back post trebles so which has given us a total of five five rows there for the hat ribbon and all we need to do now is trim our yarn and pull through sewing our ends and just weave it through the back and just trim your yarn and there we have our lovely granny stitch beanie style hat 
really pretty obviously I've used three color ways you don't have to use three colors you could use a different color for every row or you could just do it completely one color it's entirely up to you and how simple is that and it doesn't take an awful lot of yarn it takes about 70 to 80 grams of yarn so not an awful lot at all perfect for using up your stash again there's our lovely simple granny stitch beanie hat so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial making this really simple granny stitch beanie hat if you did don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already done so and then you'll be kept up to date with all the videos that I'm bringing out and then you'll never miss anything if you wanted to make the matching set for the granny cowl or the wrist warmers I will put the links to the PDF patterns in the box below but you can also check out two video tutorials that I've got on how to make both of these items as well and then you have the complete set I mean these would make absolutely brilliant gift sets if you wanted to make all three or individually as well I love to read your comments so please keep your comments coming in the box below I will always get back to you I promise but as I always say practice does make perfect and until the next time please take care and happy crochet mm -hmm.